What's going on, everybody? I'm bringing you some Madden 17 salary cap ranked gameplay. And, um, you know, the OBJ catch was a major thing in Madden 16. In Madden 17, you don't get it that often. In this game right here, though, I'm going to show you that it's alive and well. It's actually going to cause the rage quit. To, um, let's just get the cat out the bag, bro. Don't ever put a cat in the bag. That's just theoretically speaking or hypothetically or whichever way you want to use the word. But, um, you know, there's a lot of things that make Madden 17 a lot better than Madden 16. But... All in all, there are some things that, you know, should be improved on going forward and things like that. I'm not expecting much from a patch, um, but I do like the fact, like I said, there's a lot more user control. Um, you know, people are, oh, okay, yo, bro, don't pick the ball, bro. Look, look, I'm a lurk master, dog. You know what I'm saying? You either gonna dot me, I'm gonna pick you off and bang your girl too. Like, one of those things is gonna happen simultaneously. I don't know which one it is, but I prefer to bang your girl, but it doesn't really matter. But this dude right here is not playing any O or any D, and we're just gonna come out here and give him the D, if that makes sense. Oh, he's not playing any D at all. He wasn't playing any D at all right there, bro. Yo, did you see the dot though, bro? Did you see the dot action now? Yeah, bro, let me get a dot in the chat. Bro, bro, in the comment section. I'm about to say in the chat like we on Twitch though. But yeah, here we go right here. He's running toss plays. This guy doesn't really care about much. Uh, Todd Gurley is a beast though. He does break a lot of tackles, but we sending them heaters, bro. We said, bro, a heater. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bro, let's go, man. I don't know why he started running so slow though. The funny thing about it is it depends on the game. Because, like, a lot of times I pick the ball off and I run like I got a jetpack in my ass. And then sometimes they still slow down, like in Madden 16. I don't know what's going on, but I hope the tuning update fixed that. Uh, and we'll see what happens as far as that goes. Well, not the tuning update, but the full patch. The tuning update uh, limited the, um, you know, the strips and all that stuff like that. And in the first patch, it did a lot of different things and it also stopped the run pass glitch. But it is what, oh, this guy's just gonna run into the end zone and get a safety right fast? All right, whatever, bro. So this dude right here is a glut for punishment. He's gonna keep coming out, he'll keep bending over, and we gotta keep doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? We'll keep giving it to him. Uh, I was running, I think, the Saints playbook when I was playing this game. I, I've since switched back to my original playbook that I wanted from before. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro, I hope Perriman plays well for the Ravens, man, because he's been the GOAT the last two years in Madden early on in the year. And he, he hasn't even played, bro, he played a preseason game. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. You know, he had that injury and, um, you know, you really can't prevent that kind of stuff, but I just hope he does well. So you get a monster card right fast. Oh, okay, you ain't playing D, okay. Yo, bro, actually he was playing D. I just threw the ball, cause I don't really give a F. That, oh, well, bro, the dude lurked me. He got a little bit of lurk master action of his own, okay. Yo, oh, I'm about to say it, cause I'm the lurk master. Bro, I'm the lurk master, I'm about to say it. I thought they didn't give me that. Bro, dot him. Bro, why did I throw the ball right there though? That read was ridiculous. Bro, what kind of, bro, I'm doing Stevie Wonder reads, though? Bro, no? Bro, Stevie? Bro, Wonder? What is the, what is the, hold up, what play was that? I don't know what play that was, but dudes were wide open all over the place. He wasn't playing any D at all. But I, I kind of like that that's the way that he chose to come out in this game and not play any D. Also, he's going to establish the run down 30. All right, that seems about right. That makes sense, actually. A lot of people be like, yo, why is he doing that? It actually makes a lot of logical sense to get your ass whipped and then just start doing things that make no sense. Because then your opponent might not know what the hell's going on. You see what I'm saying? It might throw me for a loop. Like, maybe this guy wants to lose by 90. You see what I'm saying? That's the only thing. Oh, shit, you punching him in the throat? Who is Cravens, bro? Yo, this must be when I just had nobody on the squad because dude's names, I don't know who the hell that guy is and why he's getting punched in his face. And usually I cut you for that. If you get punched in your face, I drop you from the team instantly. Because no grown man should be getting punched in his face like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that's ridiculous. Oh, whoa, why did my guy just stand there and get dotted? I used to, yo, Jeff Fish is still calling timeouts. But he about to dot me again? Now he just waited, he waited too long because I had the user lurker on, dog. But a user lurker. And we go right here. This is how we finish it, baby. Let's go. Bruh, OBJ, that pump mother effer. And you know he got no choice but to rage. Yeah, do me. Do, what? All right, that's enough. Subscribe. One love.